Boys and girls, welcome back. It is another edition of the Southern Soccer Idiot. Thank you so much for joining us today. As always, we are humbled by your presence. We are honored by the fact that you have chosen to spend time with us today as we continue along on our collecting journey. Thanks to all of you, every single one of you, for your support. We appreciate every view, every like, every comment, every subscription. And speaking of all that support, if you would, go ahead and drop us a little like down there right now. It really helps out the channel. Uh, we recently surpassed 200 subscribers, and I know that is a small channel hidden in the corner of the internet, in the corner of YouTube somewhere, but uh, 200 subscribers is many, many more than I could ever have imagined when I started doing this little channel. Thanks to all of you who have dropped likes for me, who have commented in the, uh, the comment section and engaged with me, and to all of you who have subscribed, uh, you know, a big thanks to everyone. If you have yet to subscribe to this channel and it's your first time viewing it or second time or whatever, please go ahead and subscribe to us. We have a lot of fun here and we would uh, really appreciate you jumping on the train for our continued journey. So... Today on our journey, what we have before us is a 2022-2023 Panini Prism English Premier League Choice Box. These boxes are a short rip, but hopefully a sweet rip. These boxes have the potential to offer some of the best bang for your buck uh, in the card collecting game. Uh, there's only eight cards in these boxes. You have uh, one autograph per box on average, as denoted there. So hopefully we don't get burned again by Panini with no autograph in this box. Fingers crossed. Uh, you also have three base silver prism parallels. Of course, the silver, that's another word for refractor. Uh, silver, refractor, however you want to look at it. You know, the kind of the holographic look to it. You also have three base choice prism parallels in this box. Those uh, choice prism parallels can only be found in the choice boxes. And also you are included one base card or insert card in these boxes. So uh, that is all eight cards. These, bo these boxes originally came out at about $199. You can find them anywhere on auction these days. Uh, for about a hundred to hundred twenty dollars uh, Maybe a few bucks lower. I got lucky myself uh, one night late at work decided to log on to eBay while I had a, uh, a Free few minutes on break around about midnight or something and I noticed this box come up. Nobody had bid on it yet and I was lucky enough to get it for about $80 of course, eBay fees and shipping included, I still got out for under $100. Super happy about that, and hopefully we are fortunate enough today to pick up a big hit. So, without any further ado, let's get right into it. A trusty card holder from my man Dave G. Let's hope we get some whoppers to put in there. Let's turn out the light there so it's a little better in focus. been looking forward to this i have not opened uh one of these boxes as yet on my own uh of course we did open the first off the line box when that first came out and later the uh, uh regular hobby box when that came out i'm just gonna go ahead and say those weren't two of my best boxes ever but hey you roll with the punches that's part of the hobby that's part of the uh thrill of opening boxes so let's hope our luck has continued here today. Put that back there for reference. So now, one pack, eight cards. Uh, the card order should be the base or insert card on the top. The second card will be the autograph or supposed to be the autograph on average. Uh, the next card, uh, this is where your uh, choice prisms come in. You have a blue, yellow, or green mix uh, parallel, or you have a red choice parallel, or you have a blue-red-purple 
choice parallel or the green choice parallel or even the nebula one of one. So that's the second, the third card. That third card, you got a lot of options there. The fourth card will either be one of the blue, yellow, green parallels, the red parallels, uh, the blue, red, purple parallel, or a green parallel for the fourth card. The fifth card will be either a blue, yellow, green parallel, a red parallel, a green parallel, or possibly the tiger stripe parallel. And then your last three cards will be the silver the uh, prism, uh, silver prisms, refractors, whatever you want to call it. So, we're going to open the pack. And on top is going to be, we're just going to have a regular base card, no insert. Uh, and we're going to pull these off the bottom so that we hold the hopefully autograph for last. So, we're going to pull the silver. So, just to go ahead and address the top card there, that's Eberichi Eze, the fantastic midfielder for Crystal Palace. Uh, I think some of you probably heard me talk about him before. If he would not have got injured in his uh, very first year at Crystal Palace when he came up from Queens Park Rangers QPR uh, in the championship, um, I think we would be talking about Eberichi Eze as probably the, certainly the, second best attacking midfielder in the Premier League behind only Kevin De Bruyne, which I think that is uh, high praise anyway, because, I mean, De Bruyne is one of the best ever. So, uh, Eberichi Eze uh, has rehabbed his knee, is back in uh, mostly full form, and is a lot of fun to watch, even for a mid-table team like Crystal Palace. But, continuing on, we will pull off the bottom so as to save the uh, big hits for last. So we got a Mark Travers, the goalkeeper for Bournemouth, Silver Prism, rookie card. Got that nice holographic refractor look to it. Tell you what, let's put those right there. Put Mark over here. Then we got Alexis McAllister. All right, I'm not sure what year hard this is for Alexis McAllister. Uh, of course, he was the uh, fantastic midfielder for Argentina at the World Cup. The uh, He played a big role in them winning the World Cup. Uh, formerly of Brighton, as you see here on the card, uh, played a huge role in Brighton moving, finishing in sixth this year, if I recall correctly, in the Premier League. They're going to be in uh, Europe next year, but McAllister has moved on to my team, Liverpool. And I am looking forward to see what he does there. It's a cool card of his to have. I don't know, like I said, I don't know what year rookie cards Alexis McAllister actually is. If anybody knows in the comments uh, what year, what cards, Prism cards, Chronicles, uh, whatever, I would be interested to know if you can tell me more about Alexis, Cal Alexis McAllister rookies. Uh, now, our last silver prism will be uh, Christian Eriksen of United, a fantastic Danish player. Let's put Christian right there. Now, we're going to move into our uh, parallels. And we're going to have a blue, yellow, green Thomas Sushek. It's kind of a Scope look, as they say, with those with those circles. That is unnumbered. Uh, I like Thomas Sushek a lot. Fantastic sort of defensive midfielder. Made a fantastic pairing with uh, Declan Rice and West Ham. And Thomas Sushek, of course, are both going to miss uh, Declan Rice. Put him right there. Our next one is going to be, all right, my man. Fabio Carvalho, nice little rookie card. That actually looks, put those down without spoiling the, the progress. That actually looks really sharp, really well centered. Uh, well, not on the back though. Look how far right that is. That's just terrible. Come on, Panini. Got me excited about my boy Fabio. Of course, Fabio has been sent out on loan to uh, Red Bull Leipzig. To do a little development and then hopefully he comes back to Liverpool with a bang put that right there consider 
As a Liverpool fan, I consider Fabio a hit. And our, oh, we're going to get a red for, remember we're doing this backwards, so this is card number three, Emiliano Buendia, the uh, fantastically talented midfielder for Aston Villa. It's a sharp looking card, especially with that color match there. Now that is numbered, 15 of 30. These were not numbered, if I recall correctly, those are not numbered. 15 of 30, Emiliano Buendia. A lot of fun to watch. Uh, Aston Villa got him from uh, Norwich City, if I recall correctly, after Norwich City got uh, relegated to the championship. That's a sharp looking card. Now, that is seven cards. This next one should be our autograph. And it looks like it's a, so this is gonna be a horizontal autograph. So I'm going to hide that. I'm going to turn that over. Put Christian Erickson in front of it here. Now. Get Iberici. We'll put Iberici over there. Now our much awaited autograph is going to be Jan Vertonghen. Well, I don't know, maybe there could have been worse. I don't know, Young Vertonghen, fantastic player, but definitely was not hoping for his autograph, especially an autograph that's completely off the sticker. That's just kind of awful there. Flashback autographs, unnumbered. It's a good looking card though. I, you know, Young Vertonghen's a heck of a player. Um, no longer with Tottenham, if I recall correctly. Has moved to, where does he play now? Uh, I've forgotten. Dead air. Dead air. Dead air. I don't want any dead air. But that is our autograph for the box. So that is it, boys and girls. That is our 2022-2023 Panini Prism English Premier League Choice Box. Uh, we got a couple of nice little... Uh, uh, hits here in the silvers, uh, well, goalkeeper, rookie, Alexis McAllister there, the uh, Sushek and Fabio Carvalho, red, blue, and green parallels, Miliano Buendia, number to 30, and then the fantastic center back, Jan Vertonghen, is going to be our autograph for the day. So that's it, boys and girls. Drop us a like down there. Uh, shoot me a comment in the comment section. Tell me, let me know what you think about the box, about the hits, about the pulls. Subscribe if you have yet to do so. Much love, many blessings. We will see you soon.